kwaliza mkono kwa fatwa na te na kolwali onjala kwewa zemi mjio kolani yujo njima ya wanku mwotimeji mkwa minji na hila wakajuri of course what do you say we do mkwe wako kwa sima yoko gumulimu na inga sima ni wala wako fulango gumulimu mwe wakenyo of course wito wako gulonji nyono ya wala gulonji na ye uliriza mkono kwa nge we've come again live we've had a very bad moment concerning our weather we have a poor climate We've never had, I don't know what they call it, is it the snow of Uganda? I'm not sure. But we had uh, hailstones. We had a very poor weather. And that's why our internet went off. So we are so sorry. We will keep informing you and updating you where we are. We are back with the realistic principles of life with Apostle Maxon. And uh, I'm so grateful to see you here. You know, today we have a very good subject. We launched it yesterday. Episode number one was about trust. And here we are. We have episode number two. It's all about uh, heading to your destiny. You know, these are all powerful words. I have to be very careful while speaking them. So, heading to your destiny. Are you ready to head to your destiny? Everybody speaks about destiny, but it's not easy. Destiny takes a lot of stuff, and uh, it takes a lot of precautions and uh, process. You have to go through several things to get to your destiny. Now I have prescript prescriptions for you to get your debt to your dest uh, your destiny. Number one, the less you associate with some people, the more your life will improve. The less you associate with some people the more your life will improve. The less you associate with some people, I didn't say all people, but I said some people, the more your life will improve. There are people in, in our lives that don't need to be associated with them all the time. And you don't need everybody in life, no. You need those that can take you to a level where you need to go. And uh, of course, you don't hate the others, but you know, they have to limit your time. How much time do I give? Remember, every time I give you part of my time, I am giving you part of my life. Do you know that? Every time I give you, like I'm giving you my time, I'm giving you part of my life. So uh, you must know that the less I just, you associate with them, then the more your life will improve. There are people that you need to give more time, and there are those you need to know how much time you give them. Chicheng is a hogamba, ah, Borugana, and G. Avantuabam, or would they, or Avantum be son of whoever would they turn on you, or Lambo, you can clap and over with you. No matter when I won't linger, you went to Quatagana. Bonyman, I won't linger, you went to me, Banya, Eviadima, Abanya Faya. Bogan could be the new Gina Maso, Evigan, Evanya Kumipia, Nevanya Kuchi, Cadwanya Corona, Sayuna, Evanya Kuchi. To my solution, Ninga Bogan, I will get the quail. If you to take out because the mother got come out of my mind, Katia, I want to go with the return on you or is a cool waiter. Now you go by all the return on you, but single quitter, wait a go much on the name of Mexican and mass. What is a call again? No, 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 Chichenge zakof, um, buli wova nga ogumi kiliza mediocre se singa nga ogunafu, ogu nyo gofu, yes ogu nyo gofu, right word. Mediocre se ogu nyo gofu. Buli wogu mi kizo ogu nyo gofu, oli mulala, omutu na wanga yetava yu ya u, wa kuwalula nawe na ogu mi kiliza. Na wafuka mutu ngu, ya kuwa na otambu ya kuleve yu. Se, se mweta ogu nyo, you need to go beyond the mediocre se so that you improve your level of movement. And that investment. So an important attribute in successful people is their impatience with negative thinking. An important attribute in successful people is their impatience with negative thinking. Aha, if you want to talk about money, about to about the problem, about to talk about money, 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 about to and negative acting people now and to have a colleague as you grow your associates will change you can't be woke or mlam boko agana over chuka the name to nakula ganavana nga to treat our name cherry when a kula maka nga konga yemeliao akamu ne kabeja tali musiki na tina uja na kachiri nji kwa kwa mta laza laza wajia wali kutumide awe ntindi chigo wa yanku wa ngemboko tanu kumpa la saisio mgaati so the more you grow, when you grow up, your level changes. And when you grow up, your level changes. 
Buta ni nyanga mungu. Buta wangu 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 nyanga Champions always move. Champions don't just stay where they are. You don't, you don't drag them. Champions are made, not born. So if you, and champions don't be blocked. They stop, they go beyond what is a bottleneck or a haddock or a hindrance. That's a champion life. If you want to join me, I go with you, walk with me, follow me, but don't stay with me. I will step on you. Therefore, you need to have a you, sir. We walk with you, sir. You need to have a choker. Number three. Uh, some of your friends will not want you to go on. They will want you to stay where they are. Let me say it again. Some of your friends will not want you to go on. They want you to stay where they are. Friends that don't help you climb will want you to crawl. I repeat. Some of your friends will not want you to go on. They will want you to stay where they are. Friends that don't help you climb, they will want you to crawl. Mi kwa nje jim, te jaga la okula kula, te jaga lo jideke, te jaga lo sigele na jo. Na ye ne mi kwa ano, ita kuyamba kuninya lo sozi, oba kwa mbuka. Jija kuya mbuka, oba jiku yota, oba sigele ngo ya mbulanga jo. Katu ino chege indeleza nyo. You must be very careful. Some friends who want you to stay in the same level, think like them, sleep like them, eat like them, dress like them. They are not helping you to go to another level. They won't say anything. They cannot say, oh man, you came today, look at you. Oh man, you came today, you need to do this, you need to change. They are not open, they don't have a no. They will just want to praise and praise you in your, uh, your poor and bad situation. Do you remember the man in the Bible? Whom they used to carry every morning and take him for begging. Those friends used to help him to go and beg. And that's what they could give. They never wanted him to go to another level. I can assume these guys used to share with this guy because they used to carry him. But one time a friend called Jesus came. Another, and another part, there's another part where a friend called Peter. And a friend when they came in to worship at the ninth hour, they told them, I'm not giving you anything. Rise up. We give you what we have. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. And they saw him. The man was praising. I believe they became even jealous. So this is the thing. There are some people want to keep you in the same position. Because someone who is a nobody will never fight a nobody. They will always fight someone who is a somebody. They don't have time to fight a nobody. They fight a somebody. So some friends will, want, will not want you to go on. They will want you to stay where they are. Friends that don't help you climb will want you to crawl. Get out of there in Jesus' name. And number four, your friends will stretch your vision. Oh, choke your dream. Your friends will either stretch your vision or choke your dream. Those that don't increase you will eventually decrease you. Where are you going? That's why you see on the ladder of success, the, what we call discouragement, uh, 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 fear, those are the kind of people around it. Because every time you try, you try to climb the ladder, they pull you down so that you come back to their level. But what you need to do is to make sure you climb faster. By the time they show their hands to get you down, you're already gone. They will say words that will discourage you. They will speak words that irritate you. They will do what they think they're doing to put you down. But remember one thing. Remember, these are realistic principles of life. You need to decide. So your friends will either stretch your vision or choke your dream. You have to choose friends that you know, stretch your vision. Right now I have friends that are working with me. Others are working on the computer. Others are working on the, uh, on the camera. And others are, you know, are around me. We read the scriptures. They translate. They do this. You know, Those want to stretch the vision. But those who don't want to stretch the vision, they always choke it. What do they do? They will either say, it's impossible. I am coming. They will not come. You invite them. They don't come. They don't do anything. 
They only want to take what you have. Those are chokers. <laughs> and if that word is there in English. So I, I am ready. You can't choke my dream, by the way. But those that don't increase you, they will eventually decrease you. So what you have to do, look for friends that will increase you. Remember, this is your divine elevation. And that's number five for today. Keep negative talkers out of your ears. Keep negative talkers out of your ears. They are blocking your blessing. Negative talkers, they will always talk. Something that will put you down. To Jamala, we will not imagine the men and such, they are giants there. We cannot take over that city. Those will put them down. Even when you're men, even when you're men to a Joshua and a Caleb, you can make it. But don't bring negative talkers around you. Keep them out of your ears. audio again is if never do a video, whatever audio it's a your divine elevation. Fly high like an eagle, not like sparrows. Don't stay with sparrows. Don't stay with weaver birds, making a lot of noise. Move the eagles and fly high. I love you, realistic principles of life. Episode number two. God bless you. I love you. For some nice Yeah, I mean...